right, in this video, this is T's Workbook Hints video number seven, and this is going to be a tricky ratio word problem. In a recent update, version 1.5, I did add an additional ratio word problem, and this example here will help you with that particular problem. However, that particular problem is dealing with plants. Here we're talking about animals. The math works the same, though. So our example, Sarah loves animals and has many pets consisting of birds, cats, and dogs. If she has three birds for every four cats and two cats for every five dogs, how many dogs does Sarah have if she has nine birds? Now, I'm going to show you a visual representation first, and then we can look at a way of just dealing with numbers and maybe some fractions or something like that. So she has three birds for every four cats. So notice I have three bees, that's three birds, and for every three birds, there are four cats. And for every two cats, she has five dogs. So let's think about that. For every two cats, there are five dogs. So for these two cats, we're gonna have five dogs. And again, for these two cats, she's gonna have five dogs. So let's make sure we understand this here. I'm going to put a box around this. And again, for every three birds, there are four cats. So bird, 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 we have four cats. And then for every two cats, there are five dogs. So that's why I've circled these two cats. We have five dogs there. Circle these two cats. We have five dogs there. So notice what I've just done now. Notice she has nine birds in the problem. And we want to figure out how many dogs she has. Well, look, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine birds. And notice all I did here really was copy this image and now we can just add up how many dogs we have. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's a whole bunch of dogs, but that is the answer to this problem, 30 dogs. Now let's take an approach without using the pictures. So three birds, Let's think of it as equal to four cats. Now we're not gonna be doing any algebra here. I'm just saying, hey, three birds for every four cats. And then we also have two cats for every five dogs. Again, not doing any algebra, just labeling these with a letter so we can determine what they are. Now take note, she has nine birds. That's going to be three times as many birds that we see here because this is three birds. So let's triple this. That's going to give us nine birds. Well, if we triple the number of birds, we have to triple the number of cats. So therefore we have 12 cats. So if she has nine birds, it's guaranteed that she has 12 cats. Well, over here, for every two cats, there are five dogs. Since we now know she has 12 cats, we can multiply this by six. Two cats times six is 12 cats. And as long as we multiply this one by six as well, we will get 30 dogs. Notice we have the exact same answer here. So whether you wanna take the picture approach or an approach similar to this up here, either way works, that's entirely up to you. But hopefully this hint here will help you with, uh, I think there's two problems like this in the T's Math Workbook. And there you have it, video number seven, a tricky ratio word problem. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.